And now I have Dr. Paul Redpath joining me from Dillon Ridge Family Dental. How are you doing this morning? Doing really well. Good, good. Now I believe I understand we're talking about the recession. This yeah, morning. 2020 recession. The 2020 recession. <laughs> Gum recession. The gum recession. <laughs> yeah. The great yeah. gum recession. Yeah. That doesn't sound very good. No, no. <laughs> now, I guess, first off, tell us exactly what is gum recession? Yeah, so um, gum recession is when the gum uh, tissue moves down on the tooth okay. and starts to expose the root of the tooth. And uh, why do we need our gums? Uh, they protect our tooth structure. They protect okay. the gums, they protect, you know, a lot of things. So having it cover up the whole root of the tooth is always the best, but um, sometimes the gums will move, move up and then the root is exposed and the root is like seven times softer than the enamel. And so it's seven times more likely to get a cavity. And, and so, then I would imagine yeah. if that happens, you have a chance of losing the entire tooth because it's you at the can, root. There's right? something called root cavities, uh -huh. and those can be devastating. They take out like the bottom part of the tooth, and it's like that's the whole foundation. So yeah. if we can protect the gums, then we can protect the tooth and ultimately keep them for the rest of your life. Now, how does gum recession start? Like, is it like some people just kind of have that inherently or is it a habit a routine or whatnot or what's the cause yeah so gum recession uh, usually starts with like malaligned teeth if one if a tooth is in the wrong position uh, bite forces can sort of cause the beginnings of it um, if it's sort of out here and it's supposed to be over here Okay, um, okay. The so other if thing, you're yeah. not having straight teeth, is yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, like sometimes the tooth is just way too far out and there's no way for the gums to even cover it and be in the right position. Okay. So the other way is uh, toothbrush abrasion. So people can brush way too hard. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of it up here in the mountains is like, um, we always recommend an electric toothbrush, soft toothbrush, you know, just protect the gums because they can wear away pretty easily with just the right amount of force and brushing. So. Yeah. Does, um, does nighttime grinding affect it at all? Because I, yes. I thought I heard that one time. Yeah, it's like uh, that's another thing with bite forces where the teeth are aligned. And then if we grind our teeth, sometimes it can actually cause... Um, part of the tooth to start to break away and then the gums go with it. It's a whole process, but yeah. Okay. And what can we do to prevent gum recession then? Like, I mean, yeah. obviously you have to change some habits, but some things like, you know, nighttime grinding, that's a hard one yeah. to deal with. Um, yeah, brushing so your teeth, we can change, but. Exactly, yeah, night guard, uh, sometimes something we'll recommend to people at nighttime. It sort of helps make the forces just more aligned overall throughout the mouth. The other is, um, you know, the toothbrush and, uh, you know, just when it starts to happen, we can catch it early before it progresses more and then we can do something about it in the early, early stages. So. so the big thing is basically just go in and see your dentist and yeah. stop things before they turn into a big problem. Yeah. Now, um, is there anything you can do to get your gum line back? Yeah, so um, there is like some uh, gum surgery procedures. Not everybody wants to do it, but um, there is a way to move the gums back to the position they were before. It's not crazy. The gum tissue heals pretty quickly. The other thing is um, people can tend to get very sensitive teeth, cold, hot, things like that, mm -hmm. um, when they where their root is showing. And so sometimes we'll actually put a filling or something to kind of reduce that sensitivity because they can be very cold sensitive. Well, it definitely sounds like if this is happening to you, you definitely need to, to come in and see Dr. Paul Redpath, the Dillon Ridge Family Dental, and take care of it before it turns into a big problem, a big issue. Yeah. And where can people find you? Yeah, so we're right by the City Market Gas Station in Dillon. Come on in. We'll take good care of you. All right. Well, thank you so much. Okay, folks, we're going to take a little bit of a break, but we still have a little bit more information in store for you, so don't go anywhere.